AccuDraw is an intuitive drawing aid that helps you define exact distances and angles as you create new elements and manipulating existing ones. In this exercise, we'll explore the basic behavior of AccuDraw. In this lesson, you will learn starting AccuDraw, introduction to rectangular mode, introduction to polar mode, and using the M key to change the mode. To get started, open AccuDraw.dgn. Next, we'll select the model to work in. Select the model's icon from the Home Ribbon tab in the Primary Ribbon group. Open the Introduction AccuDraw model by double-clicking it in the list. Note that the model is empty. Ensure AccuDraw is enabled by locating the AccuDraw dialog. If AccuDraw is not enabled, Click the Toggle AccuDraw icon in the Drawing Aids Ribbon tab in the AccuDraw Ribbon group. To make it easier to observe AccuDraw's input focus, if needed, undock the AccuDraw window. Select Place Smart Line. The AccuDraw compass appears with its origin in the start point. Slowly move the cursor around the compass and watch how the X and Y values in the AccuDraw window constantly update to reflect the distance between the cursor's location and the origin of the compass. A positive or negative value is displayed depending on the location of the cursor. Move the cursor slowly toward the positive X axis which is represented by a red tick mark. Once you are within a certain distance from the axis, the line will move or snap to the x-axis. This is called indexing. Note that the y value is now set to zero. Move the pointer towards the positive y-axis, the green tick mark, until it indexes to that axis. Now that the x value is set to zero, the y value reflects the distance to the origin of the compass. When AccuDraw is in its rectangular mode, as it is now, the fields in the AccuDraw window reflect the pointer location as an X and Y distance to the origin of the compass. Press the M key on your keyboard to change the AccuDraw compass to its polar mode. This is shown as a circular compass. In polar mode, the fields in the AccuDraw window change to show the cursor location as a distance and an angle from the origin of the compass. Again, slowly move the pointer around the compass and watch how the distance and angle values in the AccuDraw window update to reflect the location of the pointer relative to the compass's origin. Note how the pointer can still index to the 90 degree axes. Press the M key again to change the AccuDraw compass to its rectangular mode, the square compass. While drawing new elements or manipulating existing ones, you can switch between the two AccuDraw modes at any time to match your needs. Reset to stop drawing. In this lesson, you learned starting AccuDraw, introduction to rectangular mode, introduction to polar mode, and using the M key to change the mode. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.